This video is about fullerenes and fullerenes are structures which are made of carbon so we've discussed before about diamond and graphite those giant covalent structures that can be made from carbon. Carbon can also make um, structures called fullerenes as well and they are solely made up of carbon atoms. So we've got two examples here to discuss. We'll start with this one. This one has an almost spherical shape and this is called the Buckminster fullerene. And fullerenes themselves are made up of hexagonal arrangements of carbon atoms. So you could see one here, for example, being an hexagonal arrangement of carbon atoms and similarly the Buckminster fullerene is mainly made up of hexagonal arrangements of atoms although there are a couple of pentagons as well in there to, to allow it to form this shape so hexagonal arrangements of atoms are how the fullerenes are arranged and it's all made up of carbon atoms, so nothing else in between. And these fullerenes have some useful properties. You can see that they form cage structures. So we've got the Buckminster fullerene here, and this one is just part of a much longer tube, and we call these ones nanotubes. Nano tend to be referring to the diameter of the tube being um, very very small and these um, Buckminster fullerenes for example or the nanotubes can be used for drug delivery in the body so for example if you were to put a drug inside the tube the Buckminster fullerene would allow that to be delivered to a specific place in your body so one of the reasons it can be used, so one of the useful um, things that it can be used for is drug delivery into the body. Because of their um, large surface area to volume ratios, they can also be used as catalysts. Um, and catalysts are things that speed up a reaction without actually being used up in the reaction themselves. So they'll provide a surface area on which the reactants can um, meet and react and form products. So the large surface area of these nanotubes and the Buckminster fullerene allows them to also be useful catalysts. Because of their large surface area to volume ratio. And finally, they can also be used as lubricants as well. And lubricants um, prevent or reduce the friction between two surfaces. So nano-coated materials, which are coated with um, Buckminster fullerene or nanotubes or powders made out of Buckminster fullerene, can be used as lubricants in um, machinery and engineering to reduce the friction between two materials in similar way to a lubricant oil would be used but recent technology has shown that actually these fullerene structures can in some cases be better lubricants and therefore useful for um, machinery. So nanotubes also are useful um, reinforcing materials And this nanotube technology has been used in things such as tennis rackets. Because it's very, very strong, but lightweight. So you can see with the structure of the carbon atoms hexagonally um, bonding with each other, obviously covalent bonds in there. It forms a very strong structure because of that large surface area to volume ratio. It's actually very light. So it's useful to reinforce um, materials to make them strong whilst keeping them light. So it's important 
for things such as tennis rackets because it's a strong material but at the same time lightweight. So those are the fullerenes, made up of carbon, large surface area to volume ratios and really useful um, for a number of new technologies.